the GMC Yukon and its long wheelbase variant, the Yukon XL, don't offer as much driving enjoyment or brand cachet as the Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. In addition, the Yukon's uninspiring interior materials raise serious questions as to its value compared with its nearly identical corporate siblings, the Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban. But the Yukon is not without charms, there's the Corvette-derived 420 horsepower 6.2-liter V8 that powers Yukon's outfit in the top Denali trim, the engine is also available in certain Chevrolet Tahos. A new 10-speed automatic pairs with that engine in a semi-successful attempt to improve its gluttonous fuel economy, but no Yukon will please environmentalists. Then there's its 4G LTE and Wi-Fi hotspot capability, standard in every Yukon, as are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For the subset of the population whose idea of a fun time includes hauling the entire family and all their stuff up a mountain while towing a travel trailer and six kayaks, there are few alternatives. Highs Acres of interior space, capable hauler, upscale infotainment. Low Lackluster interior materials, inhospitable third row, sky-high pricing. Verdict Neither as comfortable nor as luxurious as its price would suggest. What's new for 2018? A new 10-speed automatic matches up with the 6.2-liter V8 that powers the Denali and Denali XL versions of the Yukon. The new transmission improved the Denali's EPA fuel economy ratings slightly, but doesn't do much to alter the day-to-day -day driving experience. The rest of the Yukon's updates are relatively minor. There's a new chrome grille design and a new wood interior trim for Denali models, a new paint color for non-Denali models called Satin Steel Metallic, and a fill alert added to the tire pressure monitor system. There's also the new Ultimate package, available only on Denali models, which bundles the following, an extended Sirius XM trial, a motion and inclined sensing alarm system for theft deterrence, a power sunroof, power retractable running boards, adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning, exterior paint accents, and 22-inch wheels. The Yukon's interior is not lacking in features, especially in the upper trim levels. Even so, the full checklist doesn't add up to the sum of its parts. The interior materials and build quality don't live up to GMC's luxury aspirations or the high price on the window sticker and the third row is uncomfortable for all but children. What's new for 2018? The sole amendment to the Yukon's interior this year is the addition of standard Mastique-Hash interior wood trim in Denali models. It's attractive, but ultimately can't completely offset the use of hard plastic in some areas of the expensive Denali's cabin.